Hello guys, welcome to iTutor. Today we will discuss the last topic of research aptitude that is research ethics and its challenges. Okay, and uh, we completed the research aptitude. Uh, uh, if you have any doubts, you can clear. And uh, after this video, next video we will discuss the MCQs and uh, important chapters are two chapters are, was there. One is teaching aptitude, one is research aptitude. Both chapters we completed. Uh, going to complete today it's the last topic is research ethics and uh, uh, other topics and other units are comprehension and logical reasoning and higher education that uh, is a simple uh, chapters and units we will discuss that and it's current affairs also in the same side and uh, comprehension and logical question you should um, practice i will give you uh, and tips uh, for that how you can prepare your comprehension part and uh, how you can prepare for your logical reasoning part and um, <coughs> next to next videos we will uh, discuss the uh, tips about this uh, that because uh, we can't solve uh, through this uh, videos uh, you, your comprehension you should uh, yourself practice that chapters then only you can uh, easily do the time of your examination hall okay so um, that we will uh, discuss later so today we will uh, start with the research aptitude uh, and uh, it's ethics research ethics it's very important uh, and its challenges also we will discuss today and uh, maintenance of standard in teaching and research field is a core responsibility of UGC in this connection UGC consult with various experts and panels to ensure quality research a number of research article published in the reputed journal are one of the globally accepted criteria to judge quality not only this published journal are considered for various academic purpose such as institute ranking appointment promotion of faculty members award of research degree however the credibility of research published Publication is in question for years as it present institution image and national nation reputation in recent few years problem of uh, dubious and substandard journals has become serious concern all over the world and the percentage of the research article published in such poor quality journal are much higher than others by Indian University and students so the quality of uh, research paper is very important here and um, also uh, the publication site also important some of the uh, important sites UGC already mentioned in their sites you can publish there and you will get the marks for your um, appointment of the time of your teaching appointment the government of India has been uninterruptedly increased funding for conducting quality research but unfortunately none of our university or institutions come under the list of top 100 university or institution at the world level government of India had started several fellowship net fellowship junior research fellowship that is you are going to prepare that exam and Maulana Asad National Fellowship Dajiv Gandhi National Fellowship Indian Council for Social Science Research ICSSR uh, Fellowship Grand Commission UGC uh, Research Award Indian Council of Historical Research Doctoral Fellowship for Women and Minor and Major Research Project Grant etc. to attract the younger generation to make their career in the research field and to promote the quality research in the higher education system. So far, the guideline provided by the various universities in terms of advisable for all academic members while performing research has not resulted in a good outcome and a better practice of research ethics. There are various reasons behind the low standard of research in various study fields, but the most important reason is related to the ethics of research. These ethical issues uh, are not a new thing. It was raised by Plato 2400 years ago. Recently, UGC approved list of journal was created to ensure published papers are of high standard along with an intention to perform research in an ethical way. The guideline apply in many possible contexts including teaching, conducting research paper, publication or misconduct along with the disciplinary procedure. Years. If the research in not conducted in an ethical manner, the outcome will be irrelevant. So, uh, now it's an introduction for the research ethics part.
and what is research ethics basically research ethics is a set of guidelines that help researchers to conduct research successfully the major principle revolve around the research process data collection interpretation of data report publication thesis confidentiality obfuscation and plagiarism these are the main important principles re revolved around the research paper okay the ethics are closely related to the moral and the value it explains norms for conduct a distinguish between what is wrong and what is right okay so uh, so uh, a researcher should uh, follow some ethical conduct uh, conduct of the research paper uh, you choose you should genuine for your paper that's the main uh, core content of the research ethics uh, it fosters a research culture that others to relevant legislation governing the protection of the dignity rights safety privacy of those involved in research provide clear and easily accessible guidance on best ethical practice and regulatory requirements offer support and training to staff and students and any others the policy document contains not just the item that constitute ethical research but also lays out the ethical review process and the role of the university research ethics committee in fields of medical science while conducting biomedical and health research the four basic ethical principle namely respect for persons autonomy uh, benefi uh, beneficences and non maleficences and justice has have been enunciated for protecting the dignity rights safety and well being of research participants the researcher and the team are responsible for protecting the dignity rights safety and well being of the participants enrolled in the study they should have appropriate qualifications and competence in research methodology and should be aware of and comply with the scientific medical ethical legal and social requirement of the research proposal the ecs are responsible for uh, ensuring the research is conducted in accordance with the aforementioned principles okay and the general ethical issues mainly the issues can surface any time during research activity it may be due to participants researcher or organization support the research process the role of ethical committee plays an important role to ensure proper policy in place to answer below issues there are broadly divided into the three area three areas due to ethical issue related to the research process ethical issues related to the participants or researcher ethical issue related to sponsoring institutions okay so these are the importance points here the basic three areas in the ethical uh, process are one is research process and other one is participants of researcher and third one is sponsoring institutions okay these are the three points remember this and uh, what are the benefit risk assessment benefit to individual community or society refer to any sort of favorable outcome of the researcher whether direct or indirect the social and scientific value of research should justify the risk which is the probability of causing discomfort or harm anticipated as a physical psychological social and economic or legal the researcher sponsor and ethical committee should attempt to maximize benefits and minimize risk to participants so that risk are balanced to lead to potential benefit at the individual societal and or community level so one thing here you remember uh, you are doing one research uh, paper that is also depend on the society also so uh, benefit are both for individual and society here so you should consider the societal needs also and their ethical part also that is very important in your research paper the ethical committee should assess the inherent benefit and risk ensure a favorable balance of benefit and risk evaluate plan for minimize the risk and discomfort and decide on the merit of the research before approving it and informed consent process what is informed consent process informed consent pro protects the individual's autonomy to freely choose whether or not participant in the research the process involves three components 
providing relevant information to potential participants ensuring the information is comprehended by them and assuring voluntariness of participation these are the three things among this and this is more related in the field of medical science and health research involving human participants it is the primary responsibility of the researcher to obtain the written informed consent of the pro uh, prospective uh, participants okay and uh, privacy and confidentiality privacy is the right of an individual to control or influence the information that can be collected and stored and by whom and to whom that information may be disclosed or shared when your uh, research going on maybe you in the part of your data collection you are uh, collecting the data of some personalities or other uh, royal families etc or uh, some samples for in the case of uh, medical sciences you are collecting some samples for your research work so so the data collection of a, um, uh, related to individual their privacy is very important here and the researcher should safeguard the confidentiality of research related data of participants and the community that's the responsibility of the researcher and the conflict of intent in interest what is conflict of interest coi is a set of conditions where professional judgment concerning a primary interest such as participants welfare or the validity of research tends to be unduly influenced by a secondary interest financial or non financial that is personal academic or political and research institution must develop and and to implement policies and procedures to identify mitigate conflict of interest and educate their staff about such conflicts and researchers must ensure that the documents submitted to the uh, uh, ethical committee include disclosure of the interest that may affect the research and data acquisition management sharing and ownership there are uh, there is no single best way to collect data different collection techniques are needed for different uh, type of research researchers should be sensitive to participants and use best practice for data collection ownership issues and responsibility need to be carefully worked out well before data are collected and researchers should ensure clarity about the data ownership publication right and obligations following data collection MOUs vetted by the uh, institution and or uh, ethical committee should be in a place uh, and researchers are responsible for knowing when permission is needed to collect or use specific data in their research data protection and storage is important and once collected data must be properly protected as it may be needed at a later stage to confirm research finding establish priority or be reanalyzed by other researchers responsible data handling begins with the proper storage and protection from accidental damage loss or theft care should be taken to reduce the risk of fire flood and other catastrophic events computer fly, uh, files uh, should be backed up and the backup data saved in the secure place at a site that is different from the original data storage site data should be shared or placed in a public domain in a de identified anonymized uh, form unless required otherwise for which application permissions or reconsent should be sought unless obtained be, uh, be, uh, beforehand okay so data acquisition management sharing and ownership it's uh, it's also important part of the research ethics field okay and payment for participation research participants who suffer direct physical psychological social or legal economic harm as a result of their participation are entitled after due assessment to financial or other assistance to compensate them research report and reviewing the value and benefit of research are depend on the integrity of the researchers the responsible uh, conduct of research involves the following major component values policies planning and conducting research reviews and reporting research and responsible authorship and publication research that is com uh, completed irrespective of result must be published since it would be unethical to expose 
another set of participants patients uh, volunteers to the same risk to obtain the same result avoid bias in the research process as it is considered as unethical to deliberate attempt to either hide facts or to under represent over present the, the truth okay and uh, responsible authorship and publication authorship should never be gifted and ghost other are not the authorship of research should be considered at the time of its in initiation the authorship of scientific publication is a very important issue since it is the way in which scientists receive credit for their contributions all listed authors of a publication should be contributed significantly to it it is inappropriate to offer guest authorship to anyone who has not made any significant contribution likewise it is wrong to exclude from authorship anyone who deserve to be an author and responsible use of funds the management of research fund required other to like ethics ethics committee uh, policies and regulations as well as policies of other funding agencies this is applicable to both funds received from the institute and from external granting agencies effort should be made to ensure responsible and efficient use of resource following transparent and fair process research misconduct and policies for handling misconduct research misconduct means fabrication falsification or plagiarism that is ffp okay f f 1f for fabrication 1f for falsification 1p for plagiarism in proposing performing or reviewing research or in reporting research the fabrication is making up data or result and recording or reporting them without visiting the field area the falsification is manipulation research material equipment or process or changing or omitting data or results such that the research is not accurately represented in the plagiarism is the appropriation of another person's idea process result or words without giving due credit another type of plagiarism is self plagiarism when copying or reuse of one's own research but both the type of plagiarism is considered to be an unacceptable practice uh, the obfuscation is the um, obscuring research finding by the reporting style by the research as if the researcher is not highlighting the result that are important or those that he does not fitting with his ideology okay and research review or sop and ethics committee ethics committee should operate and define a well structured sop for the review process and other task research oriented task and uh, the key term plagiarism the oxford dictionary defined plagiarism as the practice of taking someone else work or ideas and passing them off as one's own in the context of scientific research it can involve unattributed lifting of textual material or scientific ideas or actual research result the most extreme example would be deliberate attempt to pass off someone else end a research project as one's own however it can also involve or deliberate or unintentional incorporation of someone ideas our result of other researchers without proper attribution within one's own research publication though the degree of severity can vary plagiarism always amount to ethical misconduct and required redressal okay so this is about plagiarism it's a import one of the important thing is plagiarism whenever you submit your research work the university or institution will recheck the plagiarism of the research work and the use of someone else work in one's own is not by itself unethical a limited amount of textual material in someone else paper can be copied if it is clearly marked as caught typically by enclosing it within quotation marks and the source is explicitly cited where the quote starts or ended that is when you copied someone else work to your work you should uh, you you should mention that where you copied from uh, or which page when from which or which other so you should um, quote that in the 
your uh, book also alternatively text may be par uh, paraphrased with the general indication of where the concept uh, originated or occasional or reordering uh, or substituting uh, of words is not suf uh, sufficient to count as paraphrasing the recommended procedure is to read and understand the source material then put it away and express the idea in one's own <laughs> words beside textual material the incorporation of ideas figures graphs etc from other sources in a manner that convey a false impression that they are original amount to plagiarism taking one's own published result and reproducing them in another work as if they were new is itself plagiarism duplicate publication submitting the same research result to two or more journal and treating them as a separate publication is also a form of self plagiarism and must be avoided plagiarism is a issue not only for scientific publication but also the internal reports textbook monographs and grants proposal etc and uh, uh, what are the recent changes uh, recent changes uh, recent developments by ugc the ugc has prepared the approved list of journal that would be considered for the purpose of career advancement scheme career advance that is cas career advancement scheme and direct recruitment of teachers and other academic staff as required under the ugc minimum qualification for appointment of teachers and other academic staff in universities and colleges and regulation 2016 because these are all the responsibilities of ugc to maintain the quality okay so ugc update the regulation depends upon the need uh, so in the face of the uh, mounting problem of quality versus quantity and the numerical evaluation becoming predominant the ugc started its fire fighting measures it asked universities and other research institutions under it to com compile list of acceptable journal for every discipline which it then collated and put up on its website and uh, insisted uh, on a plagiarism check being done on all dissertations using arcant uh, software made available to all research supervisors before they were to be certified as a ready for submission and made it mandatory for all phd dissertations to be institutional uploaded on to the infi infinet uh, site also okay you can check it or uh, institution can check it if it's a original work or duplicated work and credibility of research publication is extremely important because it has a direct impact upon the individual institutional and national image with an aim to refine and strengthen the university grant commission approved a list of journal the ugc has issued a public notice uh, dated 28th november 2018 and decided to establish a consortium for academic and research ethics that is care c a r e consortium for academic and research ethics the good quality research journals in disciplines under social science humanities languages arts culture indian knowledge system etc will be maintained by care and referred to as a care reference list of quality journals and a consortium for academic research ethics that is care has been established to refine and strengthen the ugc approved list of journals by creating and maintaining reference list of quality journal for discipline like humanities social science language arts culture indian knowledge system etc the first care list is expected to be published before 31st march 2019 which will replace the existing ugc approved list of journals this will be used for all academic purposes the care reference list of quality journal will be regularly updated and published by the ugc and the member of the consortium at their respective ugc's vice chairman would be a chairman of care and its member would include representatives of government and government recognized institutions working in the field of uh, social science humanities arts science medicine agriculture and engineering in addition the association of indian universities would also get representation in care besides infinet that is information and library 
network that is in flipnet okay and uh, this is about the research ethics so in the research ethics you should uh, take care of the plagiarism and uh, data collection are very important so uh, if you have any doubts you can share it in the comment box i will reply and in next video we will discuss some mcqs related to research aptitude so this is the uh, wind up of the research aptitude so now we cover teaching aptitude and research aptitude to units and uh, uh, we will cover the next unit also and we will finish it before our exam so you start your main subject preparation also parallelly uh, then only you can finish the syllabus before the exam date okay so take care bye bye